everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a fun project for you today, one that I haven't made very often. It's actually a money holder. If you have teenagers or kids, they love to get money. So um, I always like to have a couple of these around and I haven't made them in a long time. So I thought we would make one today with this image right here. Um, I originally did this one for Facebook Friday this week, but the paper sold out. Now I will have pictures of it on my blog for you so that you can um, see it if you wanna use that paper. But we're gonna use the Mary Bold and Bright Designer Series paper, which is one of my favorites. Um, if you um, are watching this on YouTube, I'm doing it on Facebook Friday, which I always send free project make and takes um, kits um, to people who put in orders. And so I wanted to make sure I had the paper to send everybody. So we're gonna use Mary Bold and Bright. So we're using this one, the gift of giving. We're also using this Merry Christmas right here from the Rocking Horse stamp set. I do love that font. So I wanted to add something, another just individual sentiment on the inside. Okay, let's make our holder first. You're gonna need, um, I'm using thick basic white. And on the side that is seven inches, we're gonna score it at one and four. And that is it. All right, just two score lines. Now, take your bone folder and burnish those lines really well. Okay, then take a stapler and staple down that one inch flap. Now we're gonna kind of work from the inside out here. I have a strip of designer series paper right here um, that we're gonna to put to cover up those staples. This is um, a 7 8 inch wide um, strip. And then I am using this pattern for the inside. Again, mix and match those patterns. Look how cute this is with the little lights. Um, this whole pack of paper is just full of really bright and cherry, um, bright and cherry patterns that you could use. I'm gonna, all right, on the outside, we're gonna use this polka dot pattern again, but we're gonna mat it first on a piece of Melon Mambo. I don't get to use Melon Mambo very often, and so I had to use it here. Oops, it looks like I made mine a little bit too short. Let's see, well, we'll go ahead and use it. Um, I'll have the measurements on my blog um, on that free PDF for you, so make sure you check it out. It'll have the right measurements on it. All right, there we go. Pretend like that <laughs> isn't hanging over. Ah, darn it. Okay, now I'm gonna use some silver ribbon and I'm actually gonna use some tape for this part. Just some good old Scotch tape. I'm gonna take this end and I'm just gonna tape it right there in the middle like that. And I'm gonna wrap this around diagonally Okay, get it tight. Let's make sure it's pulled tight. Kind of crisscross like that. And put another small piece right there. Okay, now you're not gonna see that at all because of our tag. All right, now let's make our tag. Let's see, the tag is right here. All right, let's stamp our two U. Memento black, and I have a basic white tailor-made tag. There we go. Now the only thing I'm really gonna color here, you guys, are the lids. I'm going to add a little bit of shadowing to the boxes, but I just thought, you know, let's keep it simple. It's Christmas time. We all get overwhelmed and the projects are going to overwhelm you if they're too tedious and time consuming. So look at your projects. How can you simplify? Well, for this one, we can just leave the boxes white. Now, if you have time and you want to color them, sure, go for it. One thing I like to do is instead of coloring it solid, add some stripes, or some uh, polka dots, so it looks like it's wrapped in striped or polka dot paper. All right, so I'm just gonna use Melon Mambo here. Color this all the way through, like that. 
Now I'm gonna take my light smoky slate and I'm gonna add some shadow lines kind of under the lid and then on the sides as well. Okay, like that. And I am using the very tip of my brush Try to keep it kind of soft. We're gonna blend it out with our um, color lifter, but you wanna really go light. Okay. All right, now take your color lifter and just blend that color towards the middle. It's gonna soften it up and look more like a shadow. And be careful not to get it up near your box lids because that will pull that color down and you don't want that. We just want a little bit of shadowing. And if you find your color lifter isn't working as well as you want it, it's not doing a lot, it's probably run out. I realized that the other day and I pulled out a, a new one. I had a new one in the, in the wings, waiting in the wings and boy, it made a huge difference. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna add this on with dimensionals. Right here, I'm gonna kind of angle it like that. And then I'm gonna take that silver trim, the silver ribbon again. And this silver ribbon is from, it's an online exclusive, so you won't see it in the catalog. It's only on the Stampin' Up! website. Okay, mini glue dots. And I have my take your pick tool. Pick that up and put that right there. Ooh, that shiny silver is beautiful. All right, so now on the inside, I have another piece. I have a basic white piece. And I'm gonna emboss some of those little, I don't know if they're stars or snowflakes. Let me show you on the stamp case, these right here. And we're gonna stamp those in Versamark in two corners. And this is a clear ink, you're not gonna see it when I stamp it, but you are gonna see it when I add some uh, silver embossing powder to it. All right, so let's bring that over. And sprinkle, sprinkle, there we go. Got a little bit outside of my tray. There we go. Now get your heat tool and heat it up for about 10 or 15 seconds. See how it's turning nice and shiny? Matches that ribbon. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna switch to, well, I am, we've, got, we've got Poppy Parade cardstock, but I'm gonna switch to Melon Mambo ink to stamp that Merry Christmas. Oh, I wish that was my handwriting. Isn't that a beautiful font? It's really pretty. Whoever did it, kudos to you for your beautiful handwriting. All right, now we're gonna map this. Try not to smear that ink. Okay, and then last but not least, we're gonna put this on with dimensionals. Like this. Okay, so there you go. You put your money in there. You can write your little message. But the last thing I really wanna do is add a few of these silver festive pearls. These festive pearls are not in our holiday catalog. They're actually in the annual catalog. I'm gonna add just a few to the already, snow, the snowflakes that are already there, or the stars, whichever they are. All right, there you have it, you guys. Um, remember, you can play around with any of your papers to do this, um, change the colors up, um, and you've got a great gift. All right, you guys, let me know if you have questions. Make sure you check out that free PDF on my blog and the other gift of giving projects I have.
Have fun. Bye-bye.